So this is Google Street View in Google Maps. Probably it looks amazing. So what we have done is that we just recreated this whole scene with ReactJS. Let's take a quick look at how to build it. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, create a React project. So just open the terminal and uh, type this command out so that uh, you can create a React project. So it's very quite simple. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a React project. So just npx create React app and the project name. So which is 360 degrees in my case. So that's how we create a React project. Alright, so let's uh, link our assets file. So which is just uh, create a folder, just demo. And right here, just uh, link down the assets. So you can find this uh, images on my description. Just uh, check it out. And let's go ahead and create uh, index.js file. All right. So after creating this index.js file, just uh, I'm just creating a variable. Object, okay. So which is create sphere, create controls and camera, regular loop, defined assign, and also the sphere. So I'm just exporting this module, uh, exporting this module to create 360 view. So then I'm just creating a function. So just create 360 viewer and inside that function I'm just creating a canvas and also I'm just uh, getting its sphere generally so I'm just uh, making the whole scene as uh, a, a, round, a rounded scene so that we can add uh, panorama images over there so yeah so let's go ahead and uh, let's create another uh, variable which is regl so regl is generally used for uh, removing the shared state from the G so that's it so then let's add our camera and also I just uh, set its position as well so then let's go ahead and create a uh, generally a variable which is a control so in this control variable we're gonna just uh, add some options to the user to in order to rotate and uh, scroll over the things and then let's create a clear options so this is generally used for clearing down the options and also just uh, set its color and also the depth field and then let me create a variable gl and also the variable destroyed so i'll just set its uh, initial value to false so then i'll just create a texture and draw mesh so inside draw mesh uh, you might find uh, we should create a red gl so that uh, we can uh, map down our uh, maps textures and the project files so then inside that uh, let's create a fragments so which is uh, 2d maps and uv all those things and also the vertex and also its attributes so i'm just linking all those things over here and also i'm just adding its elements all right so let's go ahead and create api so inside that api so we're gonna create a loop generally and uh, we're gonna create a loop under a render okay so then let's create our uh, api and let's set its states first so that uh, we can uh, control and also we can perform some operations so let's uh, set its canvas let's set its control and also uh, let's uh, set its uh, render as well all right so then let's uh, go ahead and uh, yeah so then let's go ahead and uh, create a texture I mean let's, well, in this we're gonna fetch a texture from the server okay so then let's create our uh, controls and also let's create our camera and its gl function as well so then let's render it and we're gonna return the api to the user so that our user might experience uh, pretty cool effects okay so then let's create a function another function which is uh, get texture parameters so inside that let's uh, set its minimum to linear and maximum to linear again so then uh, let's create a instance of image and then let's uh, return its image size so in this function uh, destroy uh, we're gonna be destroying its api once uh, the server is closed okay so it's uh, generally used for uh, closing i mean destroying the api okay so then let's go ahead and uh, create function render so inside this function render we're gonna destroy it uh, so we're gonna give a if condition which is if destroyed so then we're gonna return nothing and then let's uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, create a reg reggl.pool and let's create a variable which is width height and also let's uh, set its initial initial function okay and then let's go ahead and set its control and camera as well and then let's um, 
let's create a draw mesh so uh, based on the camera projection and also its view so then we're gonna flush it as well so let's create an index.js file in demo folder so inside this demo folder let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a constant constant uh, variables okay so then let's create a canvas uh, as uh, let's set our canvas and then let's uh, go ahead and create our uh, image image url so right here we're going to be fetching all this image and serving it to the user so let's create its auto spin as well and also let's create our uh, image function okay so image dot onload so while the image is being loaded we're gonna uh, set the view to 360 degree so let's uh, let's set its uh, let's get its image and let's get its canvas as well so then we're gonna set a drag and drop option in this uh, in this project so let's uh, add a setup dra drag and drop function and then let's go ahead and uh, create create canvas function and get image url function okay so create canvas function so inside this let's go ahead and uh, set its constant ports and also let's set its canvas so we're gonna be fetching its canvas from the image which we are which we are uh, dropping it below so initially it will just fetch from the image which we have linked it already okay so then uh, yeah let's set its height width as well and also inside a constant uh, setup grab cursor we're gonna be grabbing up the cursor and we're gonna set the event uh, i mean we, we're gonna set the event to move so that the uh, user can um, rotate the scene as well so let's uh, go ahead and uh, make some changes in get image url so in this let's uh, fix the image and let's uh, set its uh, maximum texture size so that uh, image will be looks pretty good image looks pretty good so that image looks pretty good and then let's go ahead and uh, set up the setup drag and drop function okay so let's go ahead to set up drag and drop function so if uh, the image is dra drag and drop over here so we're gonna be uh, fetching its image and uh, we're gonna be displaying it to the user so that's it all right so let's go ahead and create get max texture size dot js so uh, we'll be exporting and uh, we'll be just uh, uh, operating the textures from the from the uh, files okay so first let me create a constant and then let me let me export this uh, function okay so let's go ahead and create index.html file and yeah let's wait for it. yeah it's created so what i'm gonna do here right here is it i'm gonna press ctrl plus space so that you'll get the html sample so just uh, click on that and set its title so in my case i'll just uh, first i'll just uh, remove this yeah so I'll just uh, set its title to 360 image view so then let's design CSS. So CSS first I'm gonna setting its body, so body functional as well. So I'm gonna setting its margin to zero and font family to uh, sans, sans, sans pro, okay. And I'm gonna hide the overflow, okay. So that uh, it looks uh, pretty good. So that uh, we there might there won't be any bugs. So it, uh, I think or hiding the overflow will be pretty much important. And then let's go ahead and. Uh, add our uh, info okay so info we're gonna be setting its position to absolute and we're gonna align it generally so and then let's create dot hr file so inside this hr we're gonna be aligning its uh, dis display we're gonna be aligning its uh, box generally okay then uh, let's align everything like uh, canvas and the paragraph and also the top shell region all right let's get over to the body so inside this body, we're gonna be setting its canvas, and also uh, we're gonna be setting a display message, which is drop an uh, image to uh, load the image. Okay. So everything is fine. So I think it's uh, time to run this project. So let's open the terminal. Okay. So let's uh, wait for a while. So then let's uh, run by uh, typing this command, which is npm start.
all right so it says that it failed to load image one dot jpt file all right so let's uh, fix this out as well so yeah it's of different sizes so we need to change its size as well so let me paste this file and uh, this is of different sizes so which is 2048 into 2024 and uh, 4096 into 2048 and 7000 into 3500 so all these things will uh, change this environment as well so let's go ahead and uh, edit this file so let's try this out and yeah it's the images are loading and probably it should work let's check it out so this is the project so this is an exact scenario so you can just uh, see it looks pretty good and also you can uh, add various images so this is an example so i just added a uh, temporary image okay so yeah it's it's working perfectly so yeah let's Let's try dragging and dropping this image over here, and it's it's working completely. So finally, uh, we built an uh, we built an app which just uh, which is in Google Street View generally. Yeah. So this this place uh, feels better, right? So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch up in the next one.